What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? So many men chase short-term pleasure. Their whole life just revolves around chasing pleasure, chasing that high. You dig what I'm saying? Not really tapping in to what they are truly capable of, not even really knowing what their full potential is. And it is a large part to do with how most of us were raised in the Western civilization, right? Because when we're growing up, we really don't get taught how to be individuals, okay? And I'm gonna get deep into this. First of all, this is Tarek Talks. You guys could have been anywhere in the world, but you are here with me and I humbly appreciate it. So most men spend their whole lives chasing things that don't even matter, chasing things that are on a very low vibrational, low level. They chase everything that is low level, Okay, and we all see what it is. We all know what mainstream society, what the mainstream pushes. Okay, and, and what is it? What does it push? All of these short-term pleasures, all of these things that really don't add to your value, that really don't tap into your full potential. And like I said earlier, it starts when you are a child. Schools are not meant to help you grow as an individual. Schools are meant for you to have a hive mind. What does a hive mind mean? It means you are part of the hive. You are part of the mainstream. You're part of the 90%. And when I say 90%, I'm not referring to what these other channels are referring to, like you're a high value man in the 10% and stuff. Well, it is kind of the same, but it's different. I'm talking more terms of your thought process. The 90% it's pretty much the mainstream. What do we see all of these dudes doing? All of our peers, all of our friends, chasing just this uh, useless, shallow, superficial, you know, all of these carnal pleasures. And as humans, yeah, they do call us animals, okay? I will agree to that to a certain extent, but we have something called logic. We have this thing that coats our brain that is a neocortex. And what this thing does, it helps us think more. It helps us think above just the animalistic. That's what separates us from animals, okay? That's what separates us from a freaking dog that all a dog thinks about is eating, taking dumps, and humping, right? But this is what men are reduced to nowadays. They're reduced to this carnal pleasure, you know, just kind of empty vessel type of of individual and then they wonder why they feel like crap they wonder why they feel like damn something is is missing right because they are worth more than just going out uh getting obliterated coming back home going to work going to a job that they hate right and then coming back home and just playing video games and nothing against my guys that play video games but it is what it is this is another form of just mindless things that we indulge in. And a lot of guys, they're hardcore gamers, right? They just live in this parallel universe. You feel what I'm saying? Or I got a question uh, the, uh, on one of my videos and it was a guy talking about what is my stance on weed? I think, I honestly think, bro, this is me. Drugs, period, is low level activity. It is chasing short-term pleasure. Let me ask you a question. Why do people get, and, and I remember I had an argument, wasn't really an argument, but it was like more of like a debate with one of, my, one of my friends back in the day. And it almost turned, it, it almost did turn in, into some into an argument, so to speak, because he was kind of getting heated about it, right? But I asked him a simple question. I said, hey, look, bro, why, why do we, you 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 love drinking because you want to escape reality, right? And he got kind of I could I could sense that he got kind of offended by that statement. He's like, "No, nah, man, I drink because I like it." Well, why do you like it? What what's wrong with being what's wrong with being so, is is being drunk better than being sober, right? What he and I told him straight up. I mean, you're kind of just you're kind of saying what I'm saying. You like it because you get out of your body. You're, you, it's a pleasure, 
a short term pleasure. And he kept arguing. I'm like, you know what? It's it's all good. You know, we're we're done with this whole uh, conversation. You feel what I'm saying? But a lot of men fall into this trap. A lot of men fall into these just useless activities. You know what I mean? And a large part of a large part of why women are using guys like some kind of like like they just be stepping over guys like nothing like and they don't even care. And one huge aspect of this is is because they see that men are thinking with that thing down there. They they're thinking with their carnal, right? They're just they it, it, they're th- they're just like like cavemen. And it's pitiful. And then females see this and then they take advantage because they look at this guy and they're like, this guy has no no substance to him. He has he he he's not worried about nothing but chasing coochie. I don't see him doing nothing else to further himself. Every time this is what a chick is probably thinking in her head. Every time I see him on on Instagram or Snapchat or whatever, he's at some bar. OK, he's at some bar taking shots he's at he's smoking his little weed okay nothing of of real value nothing nothing that is long-term success and they look at that and they notice how men behave they notice that a lot of these guys are thirsty as hell and they take advantage of that and on top of that that makes them not respect men now the same thing could be said for females okay don't get me started Okay, don't get me started with these chicks that are on some low level, just just useless type of time, right? You know, the chicks that take a billion selfies of their behind and all they think about is D, right? Those chicks are just a, they're, they're stuck in that they're stuck in that matrix too. They're stuck in that short term pleasure too. All they do is go out there, shake their show off their behind, beg for for male validation and and get obliterated and then they're drunk and they're falling all over themselves and they look like complete trash then they get taken then they go home with a complete stranger and get pounded and that's their whole life you dig what i'm saying that's that's just what most people live for nowadays there's no kind of higher thought process to anything right there's no kind of higher thought process to anything because People don't like long-term stuff. They don't like going to the gym because they know that's not a show. They know if they go to the gym and lift weights, it's not going to give them an instant. They're not going to be swole instantly, right? It's not going to give them tingles down there in their private areas, which is what they're chasing for the most part, right? Now, yes, building your body does help uh, increase your attraction. I will not deny that, but... It's useful for it. It builds discipline in other areas, right? Like me making these videos. I'm I've been making consistent videos for a year now. Okay, that consistency. I know it's not short term. I know it's gonna be a long term thing. It's a marathon. Rest in peace, Nipsey. It's a marathon. It is not short term. And people hate doing long term shit. Everything is instant gratification. Everybody want to take selfies and get a thousand likes. Every chick want to take a selfie of her behind and get a thousand likes to feel validated. Right? Cause if she doesn't, if she only gets like 50 likes, she's going to feel like complete garbage. Right. And she had, she really has no other, no substance other than that. There's nothing going on for the long term. Everything is short term. Everything is to fulfill our animal desires, right? God, Allah, whoever created us, he created us with like a more, he gave us the, this brain that that is that is a computer damn near, you know? And m- most folk, they chase after short-term stuff, like stuff that doesn't even r- really matter in the long run. They just keep chasing this dragon and their whole life is spent wasting their time Hence why depression is so high. That's that's really why depression is so high. Let me tell you why depression is so high. It seems like the more and more instant gratification we get, the more and more technology we get, the more and more cases of depression that we're hearing about. Have you guys noticed that all of these things 
and that are supposed to make our lives so much easier, that are supposed to give us so much entertainment is the same thing that's making us feel miserable, right? Get Playing games, uh, all of these TikToks and you know what I'm saying? All of these Snapchats, all of these quick 30 second instant pleasure, that's supposed to make us feel better. That's supposed to entertain us. You know, all of these quick dating apps. It's supposed to make everything so much easier, so much quicker, that instant, there's no work involved in it. And all of these things are supposedly supposed to be entertainment. They're supposed to, supposedly supposed to fulfill our lives. But all it's doing is making us more depressed. Something about the human brain, something about what, how we're wired up here is, makes us feel bad when we get instant gratification because we're going to need more and more of it. As the quicker the dopamine rush, the, the more we're going to feel empty and the more we're going to need it again, as opposed to you taking time off, spending years, yes, years, months, if not years, perfecting some kind of skill, perfecting your body, perfecting your craft, skateboarding, boxing, whatever your craft is instead that that's what really gives us our uh what really fulfills us is seeing everything we work for come to fruition right not not taking a stupid ass selfie and getting a thousand likes on it not making one uh, a stupid tiktok video and going viral that's not what makes us happy okay it's not instant an uh, instant hookup you hook up with somebody, you know, after you spent the night of performing an instant gratification uh, activities. We all know what that is. Drinking, instant gratification, smoking, instant gratification, having that hookup at night, instant gratification. And then when you finish with that whole experience, you, you feel empty again. OK, and we all have we all need our creature comforts, fellas. I, I, I participate in, in instant gratification from time to time, but most of the shit should be focused on long-term, long-term gains, okay? Long-term gains. You, you notice that everything worthwhile is long-term. Nothing short-term is worthwhile. It's just the way it is. Some of y'all's favorite artists, you know, the ones that, that have been around for ages, let's take Jay-Z. He been around for everybody knows who he is. He's been rapping since the early 90s. Right? He really didn't get his big break until like the 2000s. That's when he really became mainstream. But in the early 90s, he was just kind of, you know what I'm saying? He was just on the scene, but he kept going. He kept going. He kept going. And he's still relevant to this day. It's it's about longevity. It's not about a quick quick sprint. Life is not a quick sprint. It's about a marathon, but a lot of people don't want to hear that. A lot of people, when they hear that, that it's a long marathon, it's a long sprint, they get turned off. They're like, nah, I want it now. I want sex now. I want to get high now, right? I want a girlfriend now. I want to, f I want to have a feeling of feeling good now. I want this instant selfie to get a thousand likes now. Feel me? So stop chasing that instant gratification. It is not, it is going to make you feel even more emptier on the inside, right? I hope this video helped. Y'all be safe. Let me know what y'all thought.